Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Control. Alrighty, we've got to escort our little buddy Wells um, back outside of this weird clock dimension uh, that we are in. Hopefully it's not too much farther, because Lord knows that would be an absolute nightmare to be stuck here. Alright, Wells. Which way, which way are we going, Wells? Okay, hey, hey, Wells, do you know which way we're going? It looked like you were the one leading the way. I'm going to assume I'm following the exit signs, so. Well, that's good. Hey, now, I thought I saw some health bars. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at them explosions. Look at everything just fold in on itself so deliciously. Come on. Blow up. Blow up. There we go. Almost on cue. All right. Can't really leave him behind, but at the same time... I have a sneaking suspicion the faster I get there, the faster things will go. Yep, he's literally right there. He just reappeared behind me. Hey, kaboom. Figured you'd want to go kaboom and thought you would need help delivering those packages. Dude, what is the... What are you doing, man? Come on, let's go. This is clearly the way to go. This is where the exit sign is. And I need you down here because there's a door only you can open. Dude, what the hell? Don't tell me you're glitched. Don't tell me you're stuck. Okay, come on. I will shoot you. Come on. We gotta go back up here. Do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I didn't have this problem with you in the original. When I first did it. I didn't even have it when I second did it. When I did it a second time. Okay. He looks like he's just gone into his walk cycle now. And I can't break him out of it. This door is definitely not going to open for me. <sighs> Hold on. No, I have to... I have to reload. Don't I? Because I bet even if I walk all the way back up here, you're not going to follow me. You're still going to stay there. You coming to follow me? No, you're not. Cool. Alright, quit the menu. Looks like we have to reload, because that was weird. That's the first glitch we've encountered, though, so... I mean, hopefully it's the only one. Man, that's odd. Why would he just stop following me? I don't think... Oh, maybe that... Okay. Because I kept zipping on through with my dash... Maybe when I saw him reappear out of nowhere behind me, maybe that caused it? I'll probably just have to take the slow route and just walk with him, which is frustrating, but who knows. All right, come on, dude. It's this way. I'll run, I'll sprint, but I won't dash, because it seems like you can actually keep up with my sprinting. Okay, people are dead, evidently. All right, you're right there. Come on. Okay, but you guys are still here, which is interesting. All right, you still good? You're still good, it looks like. I won't dash at all. I will just wait for you, my dude. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Come on, right this way. Just tiptoe down these stairs. There we go. Oh, whoops, I forgot you guys were in here. 
Anyway. Good on ya. Uh, now fix this. Put in your magic code, Wells, so we can get the hell out of here. Alrighty. In the motel court here. Are we back in... So wait, did the motel cord put us in another dimension, or did it just put us on the opposite side of the map? I can't tell. Ooh, hello. Could this be papers? I do love some papers. Mannequin supplement. Well, now that's creepy as all hell. Hate mannequins. Meet Wells at the control point. Uh, isn't this the control point? Am I mistaken, or is this... Okay, yeah, now I can talk Let's to him. Balls to ho Why did it say meet him? That was so weird. I didn't lose him. He's still right in my eye line. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah, no shit. He's been transformed by the hiss. I'm gonna have to kill your buddy. I hope you realize that. Okay, yeah. Just so you're aware, bud, I'm doing this for your own good, not because I want to. Boop. I'm going to enjoy it just a tad bit, but that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the betterment of mankind and shit like that. Because that's what we do here at the Bureau. We throw couches at people for the betterment of mankind. Come on. Shotgun blast to the face. Man, my commentary is just A-plus stuff today. It's fine. We're doing a side mission. I'm sure we'll run into more stuff that makes me absolutely ridiculously giddy with the rest of this game soon enough. Not that this isn't fun. But it is a side mission. I wasn't expecting to get as, like, hugely narratively involved. Sorry we had to kill your friend, dude. Make sure he's okay. You want to talk about it? You want to talk about the fact that we had to literally kill your friend? You all good? Sorry about your, friend. Thanks. your friend, you know his name. Yeah, selfless. It's... Should I go get it now? Yeah, I should go get it now, before it hurts anyone. That's where all the cool safe people are. Alright, so where is... Where is that item? The enemy within. Investigate the safe room. So, I think if I just go through here, it'll be faster. And I think it'll automatically spit me out. Yeah, it did. Okay, and where am I? Yeah, okay, it was faster. Good, good, good. Now we have more clocks around us. Hey, future me. Yeah, I'm talking to you again. Why don't you go ahead and throw that clocks midi we used in the last episode out again now. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Sounds nice. Do 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 do, or however it goes. Um, what can I? I have two for my abilities. Uh, so let's. Uh, let's do more launch damage. Why not? And then oh, oh I can upgrade Pierce. I can't upgrade the grip though. I still might have enough house memories. Mm. What? So ritual impulse and hidden trend. Okay, that'll be yeah, that'll be fine. Let's upgrade the pierce. That way, um, because then we can add a second thing, which hopefully increases uh reload speed.
Alrighty, so what do we got here? Um, we've got, there's reload speed, headshot damage, damage while aiming, damage after kills, damage while aiming. Okay, you're not as good as the other one. Headshot kills, or headshot damage. Damage against enemy armor, rate of fire. Ooh, reload speed or rate of fire? Let's do... Let's do rate of fire. I feel like that's better in a pinch, because, like, that's what you want more. Um, yeah, because we got that one. And then... What about you two? Health, 20, 24, 10, 13, 22, 22, 12, 13, energy, yeah. All right, cool. Cleaned all that out, got some pretty good stuff. Anyway, where is that safe room again? Okay, head up through this way. Follow the sign that conspicuously says out. Wait, what the hell? Did I mess this up? No, it is this way. No, yeah, I'm an idiot. It is this way. It was always this way. I don't know why I thought otherwise. Hey, all you people who are do making clock stuff, making videos about clocks, I hope you're having fun. And I meant the people in the world of control, by the way. I mean, if you're out there and you're making clock videos, then by all the means, I, all means, I hope, wish you well as well. But that specific moment was uh, meant to be for the people doing clocky stuff in Alan Wake. Just heads up. Didn't want anyone to get uh, too upset or get their heart set on like, hear me say something about clock stuff and you're like, you're talking to me. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, you know, room's pretty damn big for a safe room. Yeah, something tells me that's not supposed to be there. Great. More clocks. Mm-hmm. Clocks everywhere. Clocks as far as the eye can see. Always, oh, I think I know what this is. I, I, if I am not mistaken, I think I know... Yep. Yep, I know this place. I know this fight. This is going to be a pain in the ass to get across, and it's going to be a pain in the ass to fight. If I decide to do it now, I might not. Hmm. How would one in my current state... I don't think I can in my current state. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, hold... Okay, hold on. Switch missions. Uh... X-ray light box object of power. So where is that at? It's not there. Where is that at? Does it not show me? Oh, come on. Of course it doesn't show me. So if I fast travel, though, you'll show me. Okay, so it's in research. So parapsychology. I think that item, that light box might give me the ability that I need in order to get over there and do that boss fight. So we're going to try that. And if it doesn't, then we're just going to continue with the story. And if it does, we're going to do a boss fight. Everybody, get hyped. It'll be, it, it's a good one. It's a very fun one. Ah, delicious, delicious drink. Ah, love the liquid. Palm Wonderful. 100% pomegranate juice. I'm not sponsored by them. I would love to be sponsored by them. My point is, drink your juice, everybody. It's good for you. And it tastes delicious. Drink any kinds of juice, but especially, especially Palm Wonderful, because it helps your heart. And uh, if, you're, you, if you are a person with male genitalia, it helps helps that stuff too yeah they are this is creepy I forgot how legitimately actually creepy this game gets 
Like it's kind of uh, very unsettling. Um, okay, so that's clearly the one it needs to be. Let me check this area real quick. See if there's anything else over here. Okay, what do you, you're a little, you're a little teapot short and stout. What do you have for me? All right, let's open this up and pre prep for a fight because Lord knows what all these guys are gonna do once I turn their favorite show off. Um, okay, so down, down, left, left, right, right, up, up, up. There we go. Simple as pie. Happy as candy. 50 bucks to whoever gets that reference. All right, cool. Um, let's go. Touch it. That can only end well. Use C's to complete the astral projection plane challenge. Okay, what is C's? What button is that? Hello, golden copy. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find other ways to defeat the enemy. Enemies at low health can be seized. Yeah, so I will take you over. And fight the dude. I can't fight him, but you certainly can. Come here. Let me turn you into my Jesse zombie. Into my shadow creature. Shoot him. Everybody shoot him. Shoot him a lot. He's very close to dying. It's very funny that I'm in a situation where I literally cannot do anything. Like, that's the whole point of the thing. Come here. I will seize you. You will become mine. Mine for the taking. Mwahahaha. Yeah, can we focus on the gold dude, maybe, guys? Maybe that might be a better use of our time. Can we maybe do that? Oh, cool. Never mind. He's dead. Good work playing, director. Well, thank you. I consider myself to be a team player. And hopefully I proved that today. Nice. Did the mission. So that was not at all the item... Oh, yuck. That was not at all the item that I thought was going to be in there, nor that uh, would give me this special little ability that I needed to help deal with that boss fight. Yeah, I dare you. Throw another one at me. Well, you did, that's for certain. You did what I asked. Who's down there shooting at me? How dare you shoot at your director, the great Jesse Faden? See, I killed your man. I killed your bud. And I'll kill your ball, too. Where'd your ball go? Yeah, see, I killed your ball. Now what? Now what you got to say? Oh, whoops. You got multiple guys with little grenade thingies. That's fine. I can take you all on. I can take you all on by myself. Just me, watch. My, with me and a little help from my friends. And we'll kill you, we'll destroy you, we'll obliterate you. See what's happening? We're using your own strength against you. Because that is good boss design good enemy design. You gotta use their strengths against them. Control does it so damn well. It's amazing. I'm constantly having to use the skills and things that I am quite literally sometimes taking from these enemies in order to defeat them. You know, maybe I bumped up the uh, throw item damage a little too fast. 
that's a little too much. But that's fine. Um, that's three now. 20 energy, 20 melee, uh, 20 health. Um, energy should be boosted a little bit. And yeah, I, I do not have a reason to be on this level. So we'll go back via fast travel. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that one. That, that one, given its position on the list, I'm going to assume that one is pretty far from where I would like to be. You know, because it's towards the top. And I want to go to a little bit further ahead in the level, which means the place I want to go to is probably further down. You know, basic video game shit. Unless they decide to mix it up in some funky way. Actually, never mind, because I think this is exactly where I'm supposed to go. Yep, it is. Cool. All right, so anyway, so I need to go that way. Head pretty much straight on. And we should get to the Panopticon where they're keeping Dylan. See, simple as anything. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces unknown and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor their sacrifice. That's pretty fucked up if you... God damn, I did it again! I did it again. I dropped the F-bomb again. I'm sorry, children. I didn't mean to. I didn't want to. It was an accident. I'll, let me finish my thought at the very least. Just imagine if you... Like, there, there are people who work here, sure. But it's the medical wing. Excuse me. Um, there are people who work here, sure. But there are also people who work here with families. So imagine being told, like, uh, ma'am, we're sorry, your husband has passed. And you're like, oh my goodness, what what did he do? Like, he never actually told me what he did for a living. Do you know? And you're just like, I, you, uh, ma'am, I really can't. And she's like, oh, I, I just wanted a way to remember my husband one last time. Boo hoo hoo. And then the story gets really sad and sappy because it's like one of those kinds of things where like things get unexpectedly sad and you're just like, oh, I don't think I'm equipped for this. I don't think I'm equipped to handle this. But then you do handle it and everything turns out nice. And it ends up turning into like some shitty cliche like driving Miss Daisy type thing. Now, where did you come from, good sir? I was quite clearly looking at your friend, and you were not there. Can I go through here? Damn it. Alright. It was worth a shot. Would have been a cool little advantage, but, uh... Oh, well. Anyway, who wants to get shot? Who wants to get, like, really shot and, like, really blown the fuck up? I... I don't know why I'm so, like, just liberal with that. What killed me? Excuse me. What killed me? I would like to know what killed me. Anyway, I don't know why today I, I just feel so much more liberal with my language than I normally do. It just, it, I don't know. I don't know. Just something about today, I guess. Makes me feel empowered. Makes me feel like, oh yes, I will just yell that at that person. I'll just throw it out there and everything will be fine. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious pomegranate juice. Just tart enough so that with every single sip, it strips away your taste buds like a sunny D. Like a much healthier, fruitier, sunny D. Because, hey, I, I'm not trashing Sunny D. It's got some fruit in it. Optimum word being some. Like, okay. Genuine question about this building and this world. So if it's pretty much established that the, the building is constantly shifting and rebuilding itself based on the kinds of people that it's taking in and the kind of influences that they have... Like, I guarantee you, if they made a Control 2, 
it would pop up and you'd see like i don't know jesse's room in the oldest house and it would be covered with everything jesse loves that she didn't even ask for she just got that stuff and i love that idea so much that idea that we um i don't know it sounds super cheesy when i say it out loud i did i hold on did i just have a stroke i completely lost my entire train of thought i have absolutely no memory of what i was just talking about i have a memory of playing the game and going through and dying and then respawning and going back to i have a memory of those events i have absolutely no memory of what i was just talking about did i have a stroke I need to stop recording these this late. Like, recording at night, yeah, sure, that's fine or whatever. I need to stop recording these this late. Because I am... I'm just spouting... Just random nonsense to a degree which I am not prepared for. And you all are not prepared for either. I apologize. I don't know where that train of thought was going. Um, we're just going to go ahead and cut that off. And um, I will continue with a new train of thought as I die now. Yeah, I figured. I don't even know what killed me though. Like, can... What is killing me in this area? Because I'm shooting the like zombie things. I'm throwing boxes and stuff around as fast as I can to hit as many enemies that are around me as possible. I don't hear any gunshots. So what's killing me? Am I just not supposed to be in this area? This area that I'm very clearly supposed to be in because the directional arrow for the next mission objective is on the other side of this area? Like, what the hell is going on? Named enemies prevent, uh, present a tougher challenge, but better rewards. Yeah, I've just adjusted my chair. I just sat up. We're going to just go now. Because I feel like if I had just kept going, I would have kept rambling. Um... And I, Lord only knows where that would have led us. Just my incoherent rambles are nothing short of a terrifying thought. Because Lord only knows what I would have said, what I would have talked about. What the shit? I upgraded my health like four times, right? Y'all saw that. I should not keep going down this easily. Huh. Weird. Bizarre. Honkers. Bazongas. Tatas. I've watched a lot of TikToks recently, and a lot of them are stuck in my head. Um, for example, still stuck in my head. I can't remember if this was a Horizon episode or a Control episode where I first said this. But it's still stuck in my head. Just that little bit from Blonde Boys that I keep seeing on TikToks all the time where one of them goes like, Hi, I'm Ethan, and I'm 14, slaying all these women with my massive peen. Still stuck in my head, and I don't know why. It has no right to have residence inside my head. It just does, and I could not tell you why. Hey, Dick's Nozzle. There, now you're dead. Excuse me while I bust out the big guns. Quite literally. And knock you out with your own dude. There. Cool. Fun. Is everybody done? Is everybody having a fun time? Okay, here's where things get a little messy. Up and around this way. It's this area. And you just take as many of these little zombie dudes out as humanly possible. Oh, what the hell are they shooting me with? What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Okay. So we need to completely ignore the zombies and just go for those dudes on the opposite side of the room who are doing something. I don't know what. But they're doing it. They're doing it. Sisters are doing it for themselves. 
as I believe Lisa Simpson would say. Are those like, are they like launching spores? I have no memory of those guys. What the hell are they doing? They gotta be doing some nefarious shit, otherwise they wouldn't just be knocking me down. Can't believe I dropped the F-bomb twice in this episode and just completely lost my train of thought multiple times. That's a level of professionalism that not even the best uh, can display. Like, nothing's better than showing like, oh, by the way, I've edited videos and stuff together. Uh, why don't you take a look at my portfolio? And they're, you're like, oh, what have you edited? Um, uh, videos of me incoherently rambling uh, at one in the morning disguised as a YouTube Let's Play. They're like, oh, okay, okay well, um, well uh, don't sweat it. We'll call you. Oh, that's what I launched? Oh, that's no fun. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see him. Okay, run. Dodge. So that's what... So take these guys out that are, like, walking up to me. Oh! Hi, I forgot about you two. And... Is there another one around the corner that I can use my shotgun on? I guess not. Okay, good. It seems like I got him. For good measure? For good measure. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Still looking for Dylan. He's got to be just around the corner, I imagine. We're almost to the Panopticon. Well, this is a big old room. This is a big fat room of nothing. P6 is what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Yep, let's we got to go figure out what the hell is going on. Can you protect him? So there's a shelter. Let's look and let's grab whatever's in the shelter real quick. Okay? Let's do that. Shelter service hatch. How did I only just now notice those? Like, it's not even a little detail, it's just a full-on detail that I just did not process, was the thing. Alright, let's go on another trip into a hotel. Oh! Jesus. I forgot about that. Alright, what's up with you this... Cool, that wasn't creepy at all. Oh, look at that. Methinks the hotel is under new management. Nothing I can interact with, so... Um... Was that it? I forget... Okay. Yeah, that was it. Just had to... Any spooks gonna happen? Any spooky stuff? What about in here? Guess not. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with those. You know that I'm not, game. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about... Uh -huh, what have you wondered? Really, that's fairly simplistic. I have no idea. They probably were. Oh, it's this. This is the Panopticon. Okay, I know the Panopticon. Hey there, Weird Al. What's going on? Or uh, not Weird Al, but like some like you know that kind of cliche, like schlubby guy. I love Langston. He's great. Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, and numerous cell I love Langston. He's just such a huge dork, and I love him, but he's he's so willing to help. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the 
No, 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 Langston, you misunderstand why I'm here completely. I don't have time for this. I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. I need to find him. See, that's another thing that I kind of like. Or th kind of like that I love about Control is Jesse is a protagonist where she understands the things that she needs to do to help people, but she's also pretty much like, hey, once I reach my goal, I'm pretty much gonna dip as long as I still can leave, which is kind of is super cool to me because you don't get a lot of protagonists who have that kind of like moral gray area ness to them but jesse has it yeah dylan's in there you know he's in there i'll handle it if you say so uh i usually tell first timers not to touch anything so uh just do that just don't touch anything that's fine i won't touch anything because when when things float in front of me i'm not touching them anyway Subdue the Benikoff TV object of power. Well, I will. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find it. I will subdue it in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. Share the video if you want to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to do that as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. And this has been Control. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Adios!